Most economic time series exhibit seasonal patterns. Electricity usage rises in the summer in hot climates. Consumer sales raise in December for Christmas celebrating nations, etc. When performing econometric analysis on such series, it is usually important that these seasonal patterns are removed from the series so that the underlying trends and patterns can be observed without the seasonal noise. Consequently, seasonal adjustment has been one of the most popular features in eViews for over 20 years. Starting with the well-known X11, X12 and X13 routines made available by the US Census Bureau, as well as tramo seats from the Bank of Spain, recent versions of eViews have expanded seasonal adjustment to include the STL and MoveReg routines. The existing routines are tailored for data of weekly, monthly or quarterly frequencies, and with the exception of STL, do not work on daily data. Daily time series are particularly difficult to seasonally adjust, since there can be multiple seasonalities present at one time. There could be a day of the month effect, a day of the week effect, and a day of the year effect simultaneously. EViews 13 introduces a new seasonal adjustment procedure, called DSA, introduced by the Bundesbank in Germany. This procedure is designed to capture multiple seasonal effects simultaneously. To demonstrate, we will adjust some daily electricity demand data for the UK, taken from April 2005 through April 2014. Our work file contains observations until the end of 2015, allowing us to use the forecasting component of seasonal adjustment. If we open the data as a graph, we can see a clear seasonal pattern. Periods of high demand correspond to the winter months, but there's a noticeable single drop on December 26th every year. If we zoom the graph into a shorter time period, we can see there are also day of the week seasonal patterns. Demand for electricity declines every Saturday and Sunday. Zooming the graph out again, if we were to describe the overall trend for electricity demand, we could say there is a slight downward trend, although it is hard to be certain. Note that the work file sample is set to end in April 2014, which corresponds to the last date of actual data. To seasonally adjust these data, we click on PROC, Seasonal Adjustment, DSA. This brings up the DSA dialog. There are many options in this dialog, but we'll keep most at their defaults. We confirm that we wish to forecast the seasonal pattern by noting that the forecast endpoint is set to the last day of 2015. We'll also change the day of week factor forecasting method to be extend actuals, since this seems to perform better for these data. Entering a name into the final factor and trend boxes tells eViews to output the final factor and trend series into the work file. We'll keep the multitude of options on the other nodes of this dialog at their defaults and click OK to start the process. It takes a little while to run, but eViews provides details that it is running so we can view the progress as we go along. Once finished, we can view the output of the different steps taken in the DSA procedure. But perhaps the most important outputs are those at the end. The final trend, factor, and seasonally adjusted values. We'll freeze the output so that we can inspect it alongside a graph of the original data. The trend graph indicates that the downward trend is possibly stronger than we first imagined. However, this may just be an axis scaling issue. We can modify the graph axis endpoints to match those of the original data. And now we see that the trend matches exactly what we suspected. The seasonal factors are exactly how we imagined. Strong cycles with a pronounced spike around Christmas. The seasonal adjustment has extracted the seasonal patterns very well. Consequently, the final seasonally adjusted values exhibit no obvious seasonal patterns. We should also note that all three of these charts display the forecasted values in 2015. 
Having performed the adjustment, we can view the output series in the work file. This allows us to view the adjusted data, factors and trend in spreadsheet form alongside the actual data. Displaying a graph of these four series produces a very nice image of the decomposition of the original data into trend and seasonal factors. By extending the graph, we can view the forecasted components.